tough task demands tough standards, it demands tough rewrites, it demands tough re-examination. And sometimes in the rewriting, sometimes in the re-examination, sometimes in the scrutiny of what your material is, you can lose sight of the fact that you're out, if you like, to do something that's never been done before, to discover. I think any writer, or indeed um, if it comes to the crunch, any academic, if they're worth their salt, um, you're out to create something original. And something original always demands asking hard questions. And that means finding big subjects. Big subjects mean that you have to do a lot of reading around the subject and about the subject and into the subject. And then, particularly for writing a play, one of the great things you do learn is what you have to discard. And you discard so much of what you have done. And that's radically different from what academic research would require. But at the same time, you must have done the work so that you can discard it. And there's no predicting what it is that's going to be useful. The inquiring mind, the radical mind, always will be ill at ease with what is said about a particular subject. I personally found that, say, writing about the First World War, while I had done major um, and hard work into the uh, secondary source material that was available, while I had read other works of art that are concerned with it, nothing really satisfied me as to what I wanted to say and why was I interested in it. Put a gun to my head at the time, I couldn't have told you why that was the case, but I was in the prisoners of finding out why was this subject enthralling me, why was it fascinating me. And even now, 25 years after it has been completed, after it's been performed many times, I still hope there's a certain mystery about the text because that um, element of the unknown, I think, is always what is most attractive in pursuing research. <laughs>